Hello everyone, today we are in Linden, Michigan, continuing our small downtown series. Now, this town, Linden, isn't too far away from a couple of the other towns that we've done, Fenton and Holly. It does look rather small, but it had a cute little look to it when we drove through it. You excited to see it? Yeah. So look at Lindsay, taking her time getting up here. <laughs> I was admiring the old architecture. I like these old buildings. Oh yeah, they're fantastic. I also like their little banners they've got on the lamp posts. Here we go, downtown Linden. It's not a huge town, but it does look like it's got some interesting little shops over here that we're gonna go take a look at. One of the first things that we always do when we come to one of these small towns is look to see if they have any cool little murals. And they've got a cute one right here in front of the Linden Fire Department. Yeah, it's like a colorful collage. It was actually City Hall that mural was on, and it looks like the fire department is just attached to it. These buildings right here look like they're currently empty. I see a ladder and some tools in there, so maybe they're building something. I wonder what that's gonna be, because they're it's a pretty nice building. It's got like a nice little brick one, and then across the street is like the more traditional brick building that I would expect in a small town. So up around the corner here, as you can see there's a salon. But th this is what I thought was interesting. It's the Linden Library, and it's in an old mill. I got really excited as I was walking up here because it's attached to a museum as well, the library that is. It's open second and fourth Sundays, two to four, and I was like, oh, that's perfect. We're right here at three o'clock, fourth Sunday, June through October. Ah. But that seems to be our luck nonstop when we do these towns. <laughs> We're never hitting them when things are open. It's also, look at this. But this is really pretty in the spring and summer. Nice little walk right along it and around it. We have a salon and an eye care place up here. Now, this is the kind of stuff that I love seeing like your dentist office or doctor or eye doctor in small buildings like this. It's just exactly what I think of when I think of a small town. It's like that small community, everybody knows each other. It's got a real interesting feel. There's the lights behind you. <laughs> I was just looking at that, it's almost a cute alleyway. Yeah, it's half an alley. <laughs> Look how cute this sign is. It's like a little eyeglass. <laughs> That's so cute. I love their little window displays too. Looks like they're getting ready for St. Patrick's Day. Good catch on the eye doctors. Don't step into the road. <laughs> I was incorrect earlier. It looks like it's only one spot that's being worked on. These other spots up here do have businesses. Um, look at that. <laughs> I love the little table and chairs out here. You pointed something out to me that I didn't catch, those little eyeglasses. Now I got something for you. Aww. <laughs> I like that. It's an itty bitty window gnome. Yes, and you really gotta look to see him. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're kind of in luck, Lindsay. At least one store is open, Thimbleberry Antiques. So I think we will head in there and take a look. Balanced Life Counseling is the name of the business in here but I love the look of the house. Is that a Victorian style house or is it some other sort of architecture? I'm not sure, maybe Victorian. It's really pretty, whatever it is. Yeah. Beloved books, hopefully they are open. I'm surprised at the amount of businesses that they have inside the downtown Linden area because it's not a real big town, but it is just chock full of interesting buildings yeah. or businesses rather and they are closed. They do offer free books if the books are outside. I don't know if there's a, anything of interest here to Lindsay. She loves books. I wanna go in here really bad, it looks cool. <laughs> I would do almost anything to have a nice long front porch like this to sit on. That is a really glorious porch. <laughs> yeah, we got a little front porch that we can sit on, but nothing like this. We're kind of at the end of town. We're just gonna walk back up here and take a look. We've got a barber shop here. $9 for haircuts. That's a good price. Right next door to the barber shop is the Jupiter Skate Shop. It's not currently open, but this is what I was 
kind of alluding to earlier, the businesses, or rather the shops inside this town, are all pretty unique. Well, buddy, the pub's open. Would you like to go in there and get a beer? <laughs> <laughs> I meant a root beer. This is currently has no power. So it's potentially an open building here for anybody that's interested. It kind of looks like it was an apartment building, maybe, Lindsay. There's a lot of cars back there parked. Maybe it was just like one unit of it and didn't have power. And right here, closed, but the Coney Cafe. Kind of peeked in the window of this earlier. It looked pretty fun. Looks like an old diner. Check that out. Prime real estate. Their lobby looks really nice. And you got a Masonic temple. It's a really nice building. And up here, this was kind of interesting, it's a fish store. Looks like they've got freshwater fish and I don't know if they have any saltwater aquarium stuff. The store is quite incredible. They have just a ton of saltwater fish and coral and sea anemones. Is that how you say that? I highly suggest you coming out and checking it out. Crabs. That is incredible looking. Well, Sunset Corals was a really fun store, wasn't it? I really liked it in there. Yeah, I've not found anything quite that cool to go look at. Yeah, they had just tons of like coral and is it sea anemone? Is that how you say that? Yeah, I think so. And then they had some Close. terraria stuff too. That's something that we were, or terrariums. Yeah, I was kind of looking to get into that, maybe, or our middle son was looking at it. Got another salon next door to the fish store. Financial place, and then right here, we're heading into Thimbleberries Antiques. That's a really cute name. Oh, I love this. Look at this table. Look at the legs of them. Yeah, that's table that is really cool. And I like the plushies too. Thimbleberry. <laughs> the store's pretty big. Oh, look at all these antique teacups, Lindsay. They're really pretty. Yeah, it's a combination of antiques in here and then uh, just regular decor. This is really funny. I was actually thinking about making some small furniture like this at home. Cute little gnome door down there. Well, there you go, man. Thimbleberry Antiques. I think that's what it was called, right? Yeah, yeah Thimbleberry Antiques. She even made a purchase. Yeah. We found some little glass animals yeah. that our daughter collects for really cheap. Yeah, the cheapest I've seen them even when they were new. So, I was excited. Yeah, it was a really cute store. I didn't see any truffles, but I did see some candy. This reminds me of Toon Lagoon at Islands of Adventure. You know how like, you walk through that area in the park, Lindsay, and there's water spraying out of everywhere? <laughs> this is uh, in the same building as Thimbleberries, and I thought maybe it was part of the store, but I don't believe it is. I'm not sure if this is the entrance or really what's going on here with this one, but I love the window box display. Well, that's going to do it for us here today in downtown Linden. I really enjoyed checking out this little town. I had lots of interesting shops. Yeah. I only saw like one pub and one restaurant, and the restaurant wasn't quite in the downtown area, so I didn't yeah. show it. But what did you think of Linden? I liked it. It's really small, but they really had some unique stuff that I hadn't seen before. Yeah, including the ice cream garage, which yeah. I couldn't figure out how to get into or where it was, so... Oh. No ice cream for you today. No, no, no. Thanks we'll for watching. <laughs> oh, we will, huh? <laughs> yeah.